ladies and gentlemen you are looking at 1004 kingdom supply chests and yes this is the item you obtain from doing marauders during the pre kvk event in rise of kingdoms and very few of you have probably ever seen over a thousand of these chests all at once because it takes an absolute mad lad to accomplish this an absolute madman like my good friend over here rk who recently just spent four hundred thousand action points to get as many marauder chests as possible so today we're going to take a look at not only every single thing contained in 400,000 action points worth of marauders chests but also all of the gems and speed ups that he obtained from the individual marauder defeats as well which is actually insane to me that he was able to save all these and keep track of them but prior to marauders he actually used all of his one minute and five minute speed ups so we'll know exactly exactly how many he got from defeating the marauders themselves but first what's going on guys cheers now if you've been following for the channel for a couple of months you'll know that during my last kvk rk pulled off the exact same thing except he used 250,000 ap and i guess this time he wanted to just one up himself i mean he literally grinded marauders for like 48 hours straight and if you guys were wondering if he came in first place he did in fact come in first place by an absolute mile this is just i mean breaking 7 million individual points this is literally giga chad status right here and when i said he's a madman i i meant he's a literal madman he can function on like two hours of sleep i guess i i don't know how this is even even possible that he used 400,000 AP but we witnessed it with our own eyes okay so first of all thank you RK for sharing this information with me I he did this all on his own he just always grinds marauders like an absolute lunatic so the fact that he screenshotted everything and shared everything with me I genuinely do appreciate it anyway without further ado you can see the first screenshot here says you used kingdom supply chest times a thousand so he literally open all for the one thousand absolutely insane you only got 30 crystal keys i feel like out of a thousand chests only 30 crystal keys that feels really low but anyway he got 182 of the half a million food tokens 54 of the one and a half million wood tokens and by the way i'm gonna do some math on a spreadsheet to see exactly how much of everything he got so stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to see that and drop a thumbs up on the video because it's gonna take a while to put this all into a spreadsheet and also if you don't want to like it for me at least like it for rk because this is this is impressive work okay he got 1041 of the 5,000 individual credits it's 74 of the advanced iron ore that's really solid only 18 of the green animal bones okay I'll take that we have 37 of the 600,000 gold tokens we have 272 of the three hour speed ups 51 of the 1 million stone tokens six of the epic iron ore 48 of the 1000 individual tokens so he got significantly more of the 5k that's really interesting he got 34 of the 100 gem tokens he got 49 of the golden stars three of the epic animal bones so pretty low on the bone drop that's pretty good we got 30 of the random infantry blueprint and also 30 of the random cavalry blueprint fragment chests so yeah I guess I mean somebody probably still uses those right we got 95 purple stars 30 universal purple sculptures that just seems low only 30 epic sculptures out of a thousand chests I mean that's a good thing right obviously these are useless in end game but still really interesting drop rates here we have 48 of the 1.5 million food 93 of the 50,000 experience tombs 47 of the blue ebony 34 of the 500 gem tokens 169 of the level 5 tombs 62 leather 34 of the 200 gem tokens 20 of the three day speed ups we got 27 of the random archer blueprint fragment chests 34 day speed ups 228 of the half a million food 28 of the blue animal bones we got 213 of the 375,000 stone tokens 66 of the green leather three of the purple leather 28 gold keys so even less gold keys than crystal keys by the way we got 83 of the blue iron ore i feel like that is pretty good we got 187 of the 200,000 gold tokens and we see 44 of the 50 gem tokens 108 of the eight hour speed ups 
four of the purple ebony and 71 of the green ebony on top of that from the marauders themselves he got 28,154 of the universal one minute speed ups he also got 52 1836 of the one minute training speed ups and 9937 of the five minute speed ups absolutely insane and on top of that he got 1667 of the 10 gem items so these are raw gems that he obtained from the actual marauders themselves that is 16,670 gems that is absolutely insane now the way that he knows for sure that all of these came from marauders themselves as just raw item drops is because we recently had zenith of power and rk pushed during zenith of power and literally used all of his one minute speed ups and five minute speed ups and everything that he had pretty much during that zenith so everything here is stuff that he literally just got from the marauders okay so i put all this information into a spreadsheet and this is honestly a, a lot of data so i might have gotten something wrong here and if you see anything wrong you can put it in the comment section below but as you can see here the value of the speed ups is in hours the value of materials is in legendary materials so if you take a look here for the value of the three different animal bones right you have green blue and also purple so purple you need four purple materials to make one legendary which means one purple material is a quarter of a legendary material if that makes sense and you need four blue materials to make one purple material so a blue is 1 16th of a legendary material which means the green is 1 64th of a legendary material that's how i got the point zero one five six and if we go through all of this I summed up some of the most important things that you guys probably care about so he got 163 million food he got 195 million wood 137.25 million stone and 59.6 million gold he also got 5.25 million individual credits 6.34 million experience in the form of tombs he got 7.8 legendary iron ore, 5.66 legendary leather, 2.78 legendary bones, and about five legendary ebony, which is a total of over 21 legendary materials. However, bones don't really count that much. So it's about 18 and a half legendary materials that actually matter towards gear that you would care about uh he got 183.5 days of universal speed ups and he got 71.2 days of training speed ups for a grand total of 254.7 total days of speed ups and 46,070 gems this was a combination of not only the speed ups that he got from the chests but also the raw speed ups that he got and also the raw gems that he got from defeating the actual marauders from when they drop those items out in the open field now a few months ago during the last kvk he spent 250,000 ap so i never thought he would actually defeat that but he did and it seems like this is sort of in line with that although it seems like there might be some diminishing returns i think last time he got like 12 legendary materials this time he got 18 and a half so i guess it does kind of make sense in that regard same thing with like the speed ups and gems and stuff but if you guys want to see how, what he got for 250,000 AP a few months ago. You can check out that video on the channel. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. It helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Comment down below if you think it is worth it to spend this much AP, 400,000 AP grinding for 48 hours straight. Is it worth it based on the rewards that you saw here in the video? Let me know down below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.